Yo, what is good? YouTube, Krishan checking back in with another video. The 2023 Arnold Classic lineup is getting more interesting by the day. We have another new entry, Andrew Jack, the man, the myth, the Mona Lisa. And I was very surprised to see Andrew hop into this show. Now, first and foremost, very happy that Andrew is doing this show, has an incredible physique, and can very well be in that top three. But Andrew did four shows last year. The Arnold Amateur, Texas Pro, Arnold UK, Mr. Olympia, also was sick leading into the Olympia and was said to have a fever the weekend of the Olympia. But apparently Andrew is feeling great now and I'm looking forward to seeing him on the Arnold Classic stage. Very early, but let me know in the comment section below, where do you guys see Andrew Jack placing in this Arnold Classic lineup? And we also have another new entry to the 2023 Arnold Classic. This news is courtesy of Buys and Tries over on Instagram. Patrick Moore will be coming back to the stage. I don't think he's competed since the Legion Sports Fest that was won by Sean Clarita. He slipped down a little bit in placings. I believe he was around 7th, maybe even 8th. But this guy suffered an Achilles injury, worked his way back. Looking forward to seeing what he's going to bring to this Arnold Classic stage. But when guys are away from the stage for a while, it's usually hard for them to peak. And Patrick is also coming back from a serious injury. But hopefully Patrick is able to nail it at the Arnold Classic. Patrick Moore is one of Lee Haney's favorite physiques in men's open bodybuilding. Now also, courtesy of buys and tries over on Instagram, be sure to go over and give those guys a follow. The IFBB did put out a statement basically saying if you're going to pull out of the Arnold Classic, which is an invitational, you have to have a doctor's note or a serious reason for pulling out or you will be suspended or fined. And let me know in the comment section below what do you guys think about this. But in my personal opinion, I believe this was done because when athletes pull out of a show, promoters probably have promotional videos, they probably have flyers, there are certain fans coming to see that athlete, and that athlete isn't there. We've had guys pull out of two or three shows back to back, and a lot of people are really coming to see that person or that's the main attraction, and they end up not showing up. But once again, let me know you guys' opinion on the IOBB statement. And switching over to some actual physique updates, you guys are looking at recent updates of the mutant Nick Walker as he looks to claim his second Arnold Classic title in only seven weeks. And I'm surprised to see Andrew Jack and Patrick Moore hop into this lineup knowing that Nick Walker, Samson Dowder, William Bonac, Sean Clarita will be there. But I like it. These guys aren't scared of the competition. Everyone is aiming for their Arnold Classic title plus the 300K. But let me know in the comment section below, who do you guys think is going to battle it out with Nick Walker for their Arnold Classic title? Because Nick would definitely be in their top two. Will it be this guy, Samson Dowder, who recently posted up this update today? Samson is looking incredible. At the Mr. Olympia, Samson was a little bit soft. But specifically with him, I believe Samson sitting backstage for so long really had an effect on his look. I'm expecting to see a more conditioned package from him at this 2023 Arnold Classic. And do you guys think Samson Dowda can potentially push or beat Nick Walker at the Arnold Classic? Or will a guy like William Bonex slip into that top two? These are recent updates from him. William is looking pretty good right now. He said he's going to add a little bit of size for one more week, and then he's going to really get into the diet. But with him seeing Nick Walker, Andrew Jack, Samson Dowda in the lineup, I'm pretty sure William may have started his diet a little bit early. He did slip down to ninth at the Mr. Olympia, but I really, really liked his look leading into the show. And don't forget, guys, William Bonek has been known to make massive improvements from the Mr. Olympia to the Arnold Classic competition. If you guys don't remember just last year, Bonek really, really pushed Brandon Curry, and a lot of people had him winning this show. But I'm hoping for the best from Bonek. Now, switching over to Akeem Williams, who recently put out some updates. Akeem is looking pretty good right now. Once again, crazy potential, but with Akeem missing the mark so many times, I don't think anyone is going to predict him to be up in their top three, top four. But as long as Akeem is able to improve on his look from the Olympia, wherever he places at the Arnold Classic will be a win for him. Now, ending this video here with the archive of the day, pretty easy guys to guess, arguably three of the greatest backs in bodybuilding history. But let me know in the comment section below if you guys can name all three of them. As always, I hope you guys did indeed enjoy this video. If you haven't done so already, be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. I'm Krishan from Go Fitness and that's it. I'm out.